Hey everyone, it's Edward with you for this third installment of the places I'm thankful for on the Outer Banks. And I'm sorry if you don't like Kerala because most of the places I seem to be thankful for are here in Kerala. But here I am again in Kerala Village on Schoolhouse Lane. Actually, fun fact, when I was growing up, it was 1st, 2nd, and 3rd Street. And at some point, um, some community members got together, changed the names of the roads. And now we have Persimmon, Schoolhouse, and Karatank. I'm really excited because I've been walking by this house for years. It's called Hay Horse and it's new to our program. The number of it is MO37. And I am so stoked that it's in the program because this home, um, I have a lot of history with this home and I'll explain a little bit why in a little bit. Come check it out with me. So I've just stepped into um, Hay Horse. It is like a step back in time for me. The home has been updated uh, quite a bit from when I was a kid, but I used to spend a lot of time at this home when I was a little boy, which is why it's uh, so special to me. <laughs> that, that stained glass window is the same one as when I was a kid. And I'm actually going to share a picture um, of me on Halloween as a little boy uh, right about right there because you could have seen the bathroom in the picture. So hopefully it... Hopefully it translates when I share it. And also, uh, I'll share another picture of my mom and Karen, Karen Cook, who used to live in this home, and she's there in front of the same fireplace. And I haven't been in this home for probably probably at least 30 years. Used to make uh, banana splits with Karen in this very kitchen. Probably had too many of them back then. But I'm just stoked to... To walk around i would say one of the best things about this home are the decks we've got this big screened in deck here um where you could easily have dinner and it's covered too so no matter what the weather is you're great but we have a game room down here on level one uh this was actually a garage when i was growing up and it's been completely redone it's a great space to hang out down here and i can just tell you that before it was the way it is now there were some great New Year's parties that occurred down here in this, what used to be a garage. And you would never know today unless you had the history that I bring uh, with me. This is just such a cool experience being back in this home. So if a seven bedroom home fits your needs, a two minute walk to the beach on a dirt road isn't a big deal to you, um, I would really ask that you check out Hay Horse MO37. It's a really special home to me, and after 30-something years, I have really great memories from it. And I hope a lot of the homes you stay in that you can say after many, many years, you have such strong attachment to. And so on a week of being thankful, I'm really thankful to have gotten to go into this home that meant so much to me or the memories mean so much to me after so long. And I'm really thankful that it's in our program now and... Yeah, I'm really hopeful that sometime I'll get to rent it and uh, get to have some of my family join me after all these years and we can reminisce together. That's my report. Have a great one. See you tomorrow. Look at all those decks.